I'm going there because it's going, well, that looks good. And then, of course, I have to leave room for cheesecake. For cheesecake. It sounds pretty good right now. <laughs> and, you know, I wanted some ice cream today, too. Yes. It was so hot so out hot. there. It was beautiful. I want to take you through the time lapse out at Seaside. We had some sunshine earlier, and those clouds started to roll right in. Didn't keep anyone away. It looks like we have some bonfires out there this evening. But today was the warmest day of the week. We saw temperatures in the 80s. I'll show you our highs today in just a moment. But rain moves in by late Wednesday into Thursday. And then we see that unsettled pattern all the way through the weekend. Sun and showers and heavy at times. So let's start with those temperatures. We got to 86 degrees today in downtown Portland as well as Vancouver. 86 in Hood River, 92 degrees in the Dalles. We got to 83 in Salem and upper 60s Tillamook as well as in Astoria. This evening we're still pretty warm. We've dropped about 20 degrees, but we're about 65 degrees in Portland as well as Vancouver. Upper 70s for the Dalles, currently in the mid 50s for Tillamook. Now we do have one more day of 80 degree temperatures before things really start to change. So here we go. Tomorrow we're topping out in the low 80s. For Thursday though, this is when the pattern shifts. We dropped to the mid 60s. Saturday will be the coolest day, then slowly warming into Monday and Tuesday. But here's what's going on. As we move later into this evening, we see more cloud coverage. No rain just yet, but the showers will be here pretty soon. And we've been counting, and we've had a pretty dry stretch here at PDX. 20 days without rain. We had only one hundredth of an inch of rain since May 17th. So it has been a while, but this is all going to change here on Thursday. Rain and cloud forecast for tonight. A few high clouds again staying over our area this evening. Tomorrow morning, starting with mostly sunny skies, we'll see clouds increase a bit more for lunchtime. It's still going to be warm though, so it will be an outdoor lunch type of day. A few clouds towards Pendleton. Later into the afternoon, we start to see more clouds and the rain starts to approach our area. We could see a few pop up thunderstorms along the Cascade Mountains tomorrow afternoon and rain moves in along the coast around 11 to 1130. It moves into the metro area for the morning hours. Your morning commute will definitely see the rain falling and then scattered showers do continue through the day Thursday, even into our Friday and again through the weekend. So here's our weather pattern of what's going on. So today was the warmest of the week. This ridge of high pressure is still over us, but it's moving out tonight. And then we see things start to change. Tomorrow's kind of our transition day before our next low pressure system starts to drop down into our area, bringing us rain and cooler temperatures through Sunday morning. But then we start to see a little bit of drying as another ridge starts to build here. So uh, a little bit drier conditions by next week. But here's a look at those rain chances. So for Thursday, Friday and Saturday will definitely be wet. Chances of rain for Sunday and slight chances for Monday. So this weekend, you're definitely going to need to grab a raincoat. So here's a look at tomorrow's forecast. This mor tomorrow morning in the 60s, a mix of sun and clouds. A nice morning. By lunchtime in the afternoon time, temperatures topping out in the 80s. Again, increasing clouds throughout the evening. And for the overnight and evening hours, temperatures will still be in the 70s. We're going to see more clouds and again, late chances of showers by the overnight hour. So another broad look, upper 60s out at Cannon Beach, 87 for Burns and Bend, low 90s in the Dow. So it's still going to be warm. And then look at the temperature drop heading into Thursday, Friday and into the weekend. Definitely cooler, feeling more like early spring versus late spring, mm -hmm. almost summer. Almost summer, yeah. So if you haven't been out the last couple days, tomorrow better get out tomorrow. Yes. Thanks, Claire.